Hope. And they're the charity that we're going to be working with. The weather really changed. When we left Branson, it was like sunny and pretty warm. And then as we're getting into Springfield, it's gloomy and cloudy. It's making me super sleepy. This wasn't the place that was recommended. But, you know, you know being me, from I Seattle. Like being from Seattle, we got to support <laughs> our Seattle companies. This is awesome. As we were coming in, they have these huge trucks. See, like the distribution trucks, but they're all donated. And we have Kirk and Molly showing us around. So it looks You're making so me look really short. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm like at his elbow. <laughs> From bottled water to uh, the meals and the kids, the cleaning supplies, um, anything you can think of in here, the majority of it, like probably 98%. The whole tour has been amazing, but this is especially amazing for me being somebody that appreciates tech. Bam! Control room. Yep, so this is our COHOC. Okay. It stands for our Convoy of Hope Operations Center. Uh huh. So this is where our disaster services team comes in and really tracks and monitors different weather patterns and things that may be happening so we can kind of keep an eye on what's going on. So over here on these screens, we've always got um, you know a news station on just to keep up to date with uh, the media and what's going on around the world. The Weather Channel, um, but I was telling Judy earlier, we also we work with the National Weather Service um, to make sure that what we're seeing on the media is also what's happening. Yeah, um, yeah. And if you know something's going to be really big or smaller, we can kind of be aware and get ahead of it. Austin over <laughs> here, he's got this in interesting rig on. He's got the monitor. He actually went to the Philippines, right? I did. And got us some uh, footage of um, the work that Convoy of Hope does there. It's probably similar to what they do like in all parts of the world. Awesome. Molly, you're going to drive it? Yeah. That's yeah. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were serious. I was kidding. <laughs> we get to go in one of the trucks. I've never been in a semi like this. So funny, I was actually talking about getting in one of these. Okay. Oh my gosh, there's a bed. Is that normal? Oh, that's so cool. I thought we were really going to drive this out. I got really excited. <laughs> but Molly was just joking. Oh, I think this is... Like, Don't do that, honey. Know, it's going to blow out somebody's ear or something. <laughs> I was given permission to do the poll. Oh, oh there's nothing. nothing. <laughs> Austin and Chris are doing a great job setting up the interview stuff. So if you guys are wondering why we're even out here, we feel it's really important for you guys to not only understand why it is we picked an organization, but to actually see what they do. And this is the first time we've been able to show you something physically. Uh, last year uh, with Rescue Freedom, you know, they serve um, people that are going through a very sensitive, you know, I don't know, sensitive situation year before that March of Dimes I mean like it's with babies in hospitals I guess we could have gone in there but again you know we just didn't have as much time this time we actually have a warehouse to show you like all the food uh, we have people that can uh, answer questions for you guys and all that so it's, it's you know like I'm really excited for you guys to see everything and excited for Dan Timber which by the way we're gonna be selling Dance Ember shirts soon uh, for you guys to wear in Instagram posts and stuff to help us support as well as during Dance Ember we're going to be um, giving shirts away at different donation levels so that'll be available as well so anyways we're getting all this going. Veggie's there to interview Convoy of Hope and from there he's going to be leaving to the airport because he's going to California for a few days. I really enjoyed meeting Convoy of Hope and seeing their warehouse and learning so much about them and it just gets me more pumped and excited to raise money for them and they're more than just helping feed kids all over the world even in our own country they're more about building building that kids future building their families and communities so I'm so excited for you guys to learn more about them where did Juliana go I can't find Juliana. Uh, where? Oh, oh, wait, I think I see her. Oh, there she is. The kids and I are gonna go out to eat. My cousins have to attend like a timeshare meeting. We're at Fall Creek Steak and Catfish House. It must be a common thing here in Missouri to pass a gift shop before you enter the restaurant. Wow, this is a cool restaurant. That's neat. Doesn't that look cool? Oh my gosh, look at this seat. I 
just asked if it was a chain because I've never heard of this place before and she said it's a family owned restaurant and I guess they own like other different restaurants as well. They toss the rolls here too. All right, I got the lemon pepper chicken with a baked potato and some veggies. Juliana got the grilled cheese with french fries. What'd you get, H? Hickory chicken. Um, that smells really good. Yeah. Right now you've got three going this way and two going that way, right? And tell them Ooh. that you got the quarter from to move one of those coins and have three going this way and three going this way. By just moving one coin, have three going this way and three going this way and see if they can do it. If they can't figure out how to do it, oh. say, if I show you how to do it, can I have that dollar that's laying there? <laughs> and you wait for an answer. If they say, yeah, you just take this quarter right here and put it right on top of there. One, two, three, oh. one, two, three. Oh. See, nobody wants to think outside the box. They want to just slide this quarter around mm -hmm. trying to figure out how to do it. And there's only one way it can be done. And you can win you a dollar almost every time. <laughs> nice man that came around and he's like telling us about the restaurant and he's like yeah I want to take a picture of you guys and I'm gonna frame it and no obligation but if you want to buy it you can he uh, framed a picture of the three of us and it says Branson I thought that was really sweet I just ended up buying the picture frame and maybe I'll just switch out a photo of all of us together I spot a playground somewhere in the property so we're just gonna kill time Get some fresh air outside. Where's the playground? Where are you? get on a plane always sad that I'm gonna get on a plane without the girls and without Judy but it is gonna be uh, used really well the time away from them because I will focus on work I'll read a book uh, but still I always miss them when I go on trips all by myself which is very rare I mean like in the last couple of years I can only remember less than five times that I've been away from them I had a great time here I met the convoy of hope people uh, great people it just reaffirmed uh, why we're working with them uh, got to hang out with our family Ata Jazz, Kuya Albert thank you so much for hosting us as well as AJ we didn't talk a lot but still it was fun hanging out with you guys and then three just uh, again to experience Springfield, Branson, Missouri and eating some good grub while at it so anyways people are looking at me I should t totally turn the camera around and show you like all the people looking at me going to a butterfly palace. I've never been to one of these. Thank goodness. Ladybugs. Yeah, I'm fasted with ladybugs. Ladybugs. <laughs> wow. Well, it's Christmas in here. It's a maze. I don't even know where to go. Okay, I'm going to follow Kuya. If I know which, which one's him. <laughs> which Kuya? <laughs> it's a mirror. Straight ahead. Straight. <laughs> yeah, I think straight ahead to your right. It's a mirror. So there's a bunch of these butterflies here. 95% sure that they're real. But how do they die? Are they like natural deaths and then they just display them? or conserve them or what because it just doesn't seem right that you would kill a butterfly
here in the real rainforest. Juliana first start a caterpillar like this and then they become a butterfly which one of them already came out oh there's one that just came out of its out of a movie, like an informative movie about butterflies. And these pictures were taken from a photographer of butterflies and moths. It took him 25 years to get the alphabet, the full alphabet and numbers one through nine. Oh my gosh, Juliana's a frog. Now we can see all the frogs and the reptiles. These are way better than the fountains. <laughs> so we're leaving the timeshare. Bye bye. Oh, ice cream. One last stop. <laughs> One last stop of frozen custard. Na, 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 na. Come here. Come here. Na, 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 na. I need to zip your jacket. A jacket. But she said they make it you know, constantly you know, when they're busy. It's gonna stay there? Okay, I'm gonna be sitting here for a few minutes. <laughs> So transparent, it's not even focusing on it. 